Adults of Reddit, what is something every teenager should know about the real world? Things cost money. I know this sounds stupid but it's true. You will spend a little here and there and then suddenly you realize you are down a lot of money. Oh goodness yes. A lot of teenagers make bad decisions because when you're living with your parents, 7.95 an hour is basically infinite money. When you're living on your own, or heaven forbid, have a spouse or a kid relying on you, double that isn't very much at all. Learn to cook. Save yourself some dollar sign dollar sign. I'm 19 and during my first year of uni I realized I can't cook crap. So this summer I'm having my mom teach me. Now I can have some of mom's spaghetti whenever I want. 1. Learn cost benefit analysis and use it as much as you can. Some battles aren't worth fighting. Even if you're right, learn which things are worth the time and effort and which things should be let go. You'll find that most battles people fight are a giant waste of time, money and energy. Make sure you have a goal worth pursuing. 2. Learn empathy. You don't know what makes people act the way they do. If you try to put yourself in someone else's shoes, you might find yourself acting a bit more compassionately. While you're at it, try being kinder to people. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Don't take every slight against you so personally. Don't take yourself so seriously. No one else does. 3. Learn to manage money. Learn to save, even if it's a little bit at a time. You don't have to immediately spend every cent you have. If you can start to put aside a few dollars on a regular interval now, you have a much easier time later in life. Many hardships in life are due to people not being able to manage money effectively. While you're at it, learn how to use debt effectively. It can be an asset or a liability. 4. Learn to reevaluate and admit when you're wrong. It's never too late to retreat from an incorrect path. Don't waste your time doing the wrong thing. 5. Avoid drama and toxic people. There's plenty of naturally occurring misery. There's no need to add more. Learn to de-escalate situations. Also, learn the difference between an inconvenience and an emergency and respond accordingly. Hint, emergencies involve a hospital, jail or morgue. Everything else is an inconvenience. Don't overreact. 6. Don't lose yourself trying to impress others. The people you try to impress in high school won't remember your name the day after graduation. Don't take it personally. You probably won't remember their names either. 7. You are the average of the people you choose to surround yourself with. Choose wisely and you'll excel. Choose poorly and you'll fail. 8. Appreciate what you have, even if it's not everything you want. Even on your worst day, there are billions of people who would give everything they've ever had in order to trade places with you on your worst day. 9. Attitude is everything. You can be negative or positive about almost anything. 10. It's okay to party and have fun, but don't make that your only reason for living. Don't squander your education. It's one of the only things someone can't take from you. Always keep track of how much toilet paper you have. Also, buy a plunger before you need one. I think more importantly, you have to pay for toilet paper. You actually have to go to the store and buy it. It doesn't just magically show up. This was a lesson my brother learned the hard way. People working service jobs are people just like you. There's a good chance that you'll be in a similar position and will have to deal with buttholes. Don't be one of the buttholes. Be friendly, helpful, and cooperative. As a young child, you think adults know everything. When you're a teenager, you think you know everything. When you're an adult, you realize that neither you nor anyone else knows anything. Credit and personal finances in general. This is something they don't spend enough time taking about in school. I talk to my kids about it at home a lot. Brush your teeth. Don't argue, you little freak. Do it. A lot of people can get away with not studying in high school. Way less people can get away with not studying in college. If you're an above average student that was a slacker, take this to heart. It will save you a lot of trouble. Imagine your most boring class. The class with the most pointless busy work. The class with a teacher who makes you want to stab a pencil through your eye. Now imagine you are in that class all day. Monday to Friday. All year. No summer vacation. No spring break. Just that one dull terrible soul destroying class for the rest of your life. That's what it's like to work a job you hate. This is honestly the single most terrifying analogy I have ever heard. You will fail at a lot of things. There will be repercussions. 
it will be difficult. You most likely will never quite get things to work out exactly how you plan them. But all of this is okay and normal and happens to everyone. You'll be a lot happier if you learn to deal with it and don't get so worked up about everything. Even if the dog ate your homework, you are ultimately responsible for it. You're not only responsible for what you do, but also what you let happen. You are supposed to have a certain level of control with things in your life and if you don't control them, you are responsible. These are increased by pets, kids, job responsibilities, etc. No matter how hard it gets, the majority of the time it's best to try and be good to another person, even if they don't deserve it. The vast majority of your current cares don't matter. I know you might not want to care about your appearance, but it does matter. It can be quite frustrating, but looking and dressing good opens a lot of doors. There's a 99% chance that someone in the world is better than you at a thing. I'd say it's way higher than that. Don't do illegal things because jail sucks really bad. Not everyone will like you, and you won't like everyone, and that's okay. It's perfectly normal that there will be people you just don't get along with, and adulthood is about learning that you don't have to hang out with those people if you don't want to. Very few people truly know exactly what they're doing. There's no set age to have it all figured out. Most of us are just making it up as we go along. Not only do I not really know what I'm doing, but I don't really feel like an adult either. Plenty of people you think are cool right now will grow up to be losers. Also, as an adult, no one has ever asked me what my GPA was. Don't frick with cops. No matter how badly they're abusing their authority, it's a fight you're not going to win. And one single felony means you'll have to work your crappy fast food job for the rest of your life. Seriously. It is very unlikely that you will graduate college and have a six-figure job dropped in your lap. Work for the things you want. Also, internships are job interviews. If you get one, work your butt off to show the company why they'd want to hire you. In high school people will praise you a lot if you are gifted. After high school people only give a crap about you if you work hard. Don't be lazy. Being talented doesn't mean crap if you aren't willing to work your ass off. You need to kick your own ass until you are the person you want to be. Can confirm. I'm dumb. But I take everyone's shifts when they're sick. Boss loves me. Go hard. Then go home. Keep going hard. Don't get fired. If you are more fortunate than others, it's better to build a longer table than a taller fence. Embrace empathy and shared experience. A balanced life is a fulfilling one. Learn and understand credit culture before getting in too deep. You will still want candy. You never grow out of that. You can eat candy whenever you want, but you will get fat. Learn. 2. Budget. You're not entitled to anything. Debt will make you not want to live anymore. Let me elaborate. If college is going to land you a job that pays heavenly, then college debt would be okay. But when you have debt like me, it's depressing. I'm 23 and started my debt journey at 18. Started with $1k loan to get a nice computer. Couple months later financed a Jeep Wrangler for $15k. Couple months later took a loan out for a street bike for $4k. All that plus rent bills food I was coming up short on cash. So I filed exempt on my taxes so I'd have extra cash. Keep exempt for about 15 months. Ended up owing the eyes $4k. So at the age of 20 I was staring at $20k in debt. Frick. Sucks working 40 hours a week to pay for my ego from last year. Ended up moving out and living in a tent for a couple months just so I could pay my debt off fast as possible. I'm 23 now and only have $6k to go. Should be done by next April. Lesson I learned. Having an ego is expensive and not worth it in the end. You don't need that lifted truck that gets 13 miles per gallon. You need a vehicle that's cheap to own and gets you awesome MPG. Want something? Save money for it. Don't think getting that loan is okay because it'll help my credit. Don't delude yourself in any job you might do, because you are and always will be expendable, with very, very few people being an exception to this. There is no such thing as the real world and frankly, I have yet to meet an adult. Everyone pretends that somewhere between 18 and 25, we all grow up, learn how to do things and act like functional normal people. That is all bullcrap. 
No one knows what they are doing. We are all bumbling around making fools of ourselves and there is also no such thing as normal. You will find that the struggles you thought you would leave behind in high school follow you everywhere. All that changes are the stakes. Instead of gossiping about who kissed who, you gossip about who divorced who. Instead of the popular kids being determined by athletic ability, it's determined by money and power. Instead of trying to impress a teacher to get a good grade, you are trying to impress a boss to be able to put food on the table. All the while, you put on a front trying to act cool, calm and collected and wondering why the heck you are the only one who doesn't have their crap together. What teenagers need to know is that you will never have your crap together and that's okay so stop trying to grow up and find this magical real world and just enjoy the good things and try to be a good person regardless of age. Life gets better. Don't cut yourself. Learn to critically think for yourself and read everything you can get your hands on. You'll inevitably get in hot water at some point. Just make sure you have a strong foundation and support circle. To break it down, I've become a minimalist and I have a close-knit circle of friends and family. If I had started out that way, I probably wouldn't have had to deal with some of the crap dealt to me. Also, don't fret if you aren't sure what you want to do with your life despite pressure from your peers and family members trying to get a final word on the matter. I'm 32 and only recently did I realize what I wanted to do with my life. Heck, there are people in their 50s who still don't know or all of a sudden do a career change. The biggest thing I've learned recently is that if you want something, you have to freaking get it. In school there are teachers to pester you if you're not achieving things, but in life you have to motivate yourself. If you want to save for a house, you have to have self-discipline and save for a house. If you want to quit smoking, you have to make yourself do it. Nobody is there to blame if you fail except you. I have always thought hey I'll worry about that tomorrow. But the best time to start motivating yourself to achieve even small goals is now. Don't expect it to be fair. Participation trophies do not exist. That you should just live your life and do as you do. Like the Floyd song says, the memories of a man in his old age are the deeds of a man in his prime. Having a passion for something is great. Art. Music, becoming a professional MMA fighter, but prepare yourself for a realistic day job that you can at least tolerate, if not actually enjoy. There is no greater indicator of poverty and poor financial decisions than custom wheels on your car. And spinners make you look like an unsuccessful drug dealer. You've been visited by Professor Papa. You'll ace all your classes this year only if you comment, study hard Papa, if you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.